and we are just getting started a little later than we were hoping but I think it'll be okay <laughs> um, we've got five and a half miles to our first possible campsite for tonight and then um, the ideal spot is eight and a half miles down which would mean a little bit of night hiking so it should be fun Came up to this beautiful mountain laurel tunnel. The kids are enjoying. Open up. It's about 7 uh, 20 maybe. So we've been hiking, or no, 7 30. It's been hiking about two hours, and we are about four and a quarter miles into the trail. We've already ascended about 1400 feet which is no laughing matter um, kids are doing awesome taking a few breaks for water our first possible campsite is in just over a mile um, I think it's another 600 feet or so of going up to get to it so we're enjoying this flat while it lasts um, but yeah so far so good here's the crew <laughs> Fun times. <laughs> Keep walking. So exhausted. We just made it to the top of Chestnut Mud Knob. Good job. Mm. Come see some fat black slugs. Yeah, they are big. Here's your dinner. One, oh my goodness. Two, On the log, do you see them, Gideon? Mm -hmm. One right there. One right there. How's night hiking, girls? Fun. <laughs> Something else? It's Don't cooler. Go, it Don't is cooler. Go to bed as early. So, it is about 9.15. And we've just kept <laughs> plowing ahead. So we're making our way to the base of Cedar Rock Mountain. And at that point, we have to decide if we want to stop for the night or if we want to hike another, I think it's a mile and a quarter to a shelter. Slept in the shelter though. Cold. Stayed, but you stayed warm in your sleeping bags, right? Mm -hmm. It's just hard to get out of them. This food is really good. What do you have in there? Ramen and hot dogs? Ramen. Sausage? Breakfast ramen bomb. Maple Ooh. syrup on top. Yum. Italian hot dogs and some bacon bits and shredded potatoes. <laughs> so this was our house last night. We've got it mostly packed up. All right. It's day two and we hiked eight and a half miles last night, got to our shelter around 10:15, and then I think the kids were in bed by 11 and then we were in bed by 
uh, midnight. Today we're aiming for 15 miles, which will take us from Butter Gap Shelter, I think all the way up to Flower Gap in Shining Rock Wilderness, where we will set up camp. If we make that distance, I think it leaves us with like nine on Saturday to finish. So we've got two big climbs today. We go up and over Pilot Mountain and up to the parkway and then up to Silver Mine Bald, um, which are some of the hardest elevation gains of the adventure. So hopefully it all goes well. Here's the crew. All right, so we are hiking towards Gloucester Gap. And Naomi, what'd you find? Snakeskin, just laying in the bushes. Good eye to see that. I'm gonna put it back so someone else can find it later. Oh. Nice. That's why I killed it so long. <laughs> I thought it was a I real know snake, that. but I was like, they would go through the bushes because they're. Yeah, they wouldn't be on top of them. I probably. know that is. Um, All, right. All right, so we just took a 20 minute break. Did you eat a little bit? Yes, Where are we headed? Pilot Mountain. Oh my goodness. Are you ready? As ready as you're going to be. How are you feeling, girls? Pretty good. Not terrible. Yeah. It hasn't been that bad so far. <laughs> We've got about 2,000 feet of climbing. You going to lead us up, Gideon? You are? All right. Lead the way. Stop when you get to the top. Yeah. <laughs> Just stay steady. You don't have to go fast. <laughs> And 45 minutes later, we made it to the top. <laughs> yeah. Naomi is hot and tired. Exhausted. How are you guys? Hot. Tired? Yeah, hot. Very hot. It doesn't get easier the more times you do it. Well, you've only done it twice now, so maybe if you did it like 10 times, it could get easier. It's <laughs> a lot. It does have a nice view, though. So when you're hiking the Art Lobe, this is the first time you actually see an unobstructed view. And it is beautiful. It doesn't disappoint. Not blocked. And now we begin our descent off of Pilot Mountain down to Deep Gap. And there may or may not be a shelter there, um, but we're planning to stop and have lunch there. Um, it's about one o'clock or almost one o'clock. So we've still got about six hours that we're gonna try to hike today. We'll see where that takes us. But, so I forgot to take any video um, or pictures after we got off of pilot, but we took a maybe 30 minute break um, to have trail tacos and um, at an area called Deep Gap, where there's another um, water source. And so we filled up, filtered a bunch of water, filled up everybody's water bottle. Um, each of us has two one liter bottles. And then um, we've got two one liter bags as well. So we've got a lot of water. But when you're getting this hot and sweating this much, you need it. <laughs> so anyway, we are continuing on. I think we're like, um, six miles, six and a half miles into the day, but like 3,000 something feet of elevation climbing. Um, we're gonna add another 1,500 to that because we're climbing up to the parkway in a minute. Um, and then climbing from the parkway up to Silvermine Bald, which is right at the beginning of um, Shining Rock Wilderness. So we're hoping to camp up in there in the pine trees tonight. So that'll have us ending around Maybe 12, 11 miles, I don't know, something like that. We just climbed a thousand feet up to <laughs> Naomi. You're, you're fine. She's starting to look like she's falling over. Climbed up to the parkway. No, please don't. Um, came down right over there, but we climbed up to that point. And now we have point two up to Silvermine Bald. And in that point two, we will gain 500 feet. So it's like 250 feet every 
tenth of a mile. <laughs> oh my goodness. But then we are done climbing for the day and we will go find our campsite. Woohoo! What's for dinner? Do you even know? What's for dinner, Gideon? Um, meat, potatoes, and cheese. Oh, chicken bits and ranch bowl. Yeah. Mashed Deliciousness. Deliciousness. Chicken bits. Yes, I know. <laughs> Amazing. Courtesy of Outdoor Eats. Yes. We've had this Courtesy one. Courtesy of Dad. Slept in the pine forest last night. The winds really picked up overnight. Um, I think most of us are wearing the majority of the clothes we packed to stay warm today. Um, it's about 7.45. We've got 12 miles till our car. Not near as much climbing. The wind isn't quite as strong up here as it was on the way up. It's hard to beat hiking with that on the side view. rocky um, after we get to the top we will start descending to an area called the narrows which is super technical there's some like rock scrambles and other things um, but after we get through that we are downhill to the car so we are doing great so we are officially in the narrows and came up on all these flowers and here are two rock stars <laughs> the rest are on their way yeah, down. One's holding a camera. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I guess I'm a rock star too. But they're not called the Narrows for nothing. You think you are a Yeah, <laughs> love you, Nan. It's hard to tell how steep this is, but it is steep and requires actual rock climbing. Do you want me to take your poles? You can do it with them. I think I'm good. Okay. Moving forward. Way to go. Whew, you did it. You good, Naomi? Nice and slow. I hope. <laughs> I think I you're good. Don't fall. I know you don't want to fall. Use your hands. There you go. Mm. Good job. Real rock climbing. It is real rock climbing. This view just popped out of the narrows. Out of nowhere. It's always fun when the trail provides fun, fun little surprises. All right, Thursday evening, around 5.30, we started this trail back at Davidson River Campground 32 miles ago. And now it's almost 5 o'clock on Saturday evening. And I ran ahead to catch the <laughs> Victorious Troopers. Dead. You're not dead! Way to go! Thanks uh -huh. for staying alive! <laughs> Way to go! Hey, Mr. Man! 
Hey, Caboose. <laughs> Eat your heart out, Art. <laughs>